everywhere I go, I hear people, me and Joshua, me and Joshua. And um, that's the number one fight for them as well. So After so many missed appointments, Deontay Wilder is up for a super fight with Anthony Joshua in front of 80,000 fans at Wembley in March of 2023. This highly anticipated matchup between the two heavyweight superstars is coming soon, so who'll win this fiery battle? who'll have to give up the chance to go to the Hall of Fame. Let's take a look at the video, but before you jump in, remember, like, subscribe, and tap the bell icon. You don't want to miss out on any updates. The American returned last weekend with a trademark bang knocking out Robert Hellenius inside three minutes in New York. Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder failed to agree on terms throughout 2018 and 19 when they were unbeaten and holding all four titles. But since then, AJ has lost three of his five bouts, most recently twice to Usyk at 35, who retained the unified treasure. Meanwhile, Wilder was beaten consecutively by Fury, 34 in that period, before dispatching his ex-sparring partner, Hellenius, 38. Typical or atypical one-punch knockout punch. How he hurts you, how he gets knockout point. There's a big shot over the top from Alexander Usyk. He came out. Guns are blazing right from the start of the round. The former WBC champion calls out Usyk and promotional stablemate Andy Ruiz Jr., 33, after his emphatic return, but Joshua twice faced those two and recently failed to agree to terms for a December battle of Britain with Fury. It leaves Finkel believing the 2012 Olympic gold medalist has little lucrative avenues to explore other than a showdown with Wilder. He said that two or three years ago when Joshua and Wilder did not make the fight, he had options. He was on top of the world, but right now he doesn't have many options. And if Fury fights Usyk, the only real big fight out there for Joshua is Wilder. But it's up to Joshua. The important thing without getting into a big dialogue with Eddie was to wait until after the fight and then decide. Wilder, who turned 37 about a week ago, has warned he has only three years left in the sport, retiring at age 40. So Finkel wants a swift return by March to embark on these two major fights in 2023. So how's the deal going? Well, before the comeback bout, Wilder's manager Shelly Finkel received an invite from Joshua's promoter Eddie Hearn to speak over the phone, but Finkel wants to hold out until the Bronze Bomber makes his return after being out of action for a year. Following Wilder's statement, first round finish, the Hall of Famer is leaving the door open for talks with Hearn. Finkel said it depends on what surfaces this week, whether it be Alexander Usyk or Hearn reaching out. 
He always said there was no reason to have spoken before the fight, but they're always willing to talk to Hearn. Finkel's even prepared to take Wilder abroad, whether it be for mega money, Middle East deals, or a stadium fight in England. Wilder's side confirm if the proposed deal is appropriate, then of course the fight will happen. And they believe the fight between Deontay and Joshua will do 80,000 at Wembley. So how do you think the match will go? Well, Joshua is a big guy, six foot six, a long reach of 82 inches and strong natural punching power. Solid fundamentals, a good understanding of footwork, hand placement, movement, and mastery of all punches. That's the exact opposite of the wild, instinctive, untechnical Deontay Wilder. Wilder is not the best all-time puncher. He does have a legitimate one-hitter quitter. He's long with an 83-inch reach. He's quick and fearless and can punch. Joshua can follow a good flight plan, and he's certainly brave enough, but he lacks the mental ability to even be a very good fighter when things veer from his fight plan. He can follow a fight plan, he proved that in the rematch with Ruiz, but he can't adapt on his own as he showed in the fight against Ruiz the first time. On that point, Wilder's completely different from Joshua. Despite the plan, Wilder will forget about him and rush at the opponent aggressively. And that tendency to forget everything he's taught and rush in, it got him a good whipping from the brutal champ in boxing history. AJ is a powerful man with a good punch in his own right, though nothing like Wilder, but it's possible AJ could clip Wilder before Wilder gets him, but it's doubtful. After his beating by the fattest Mexican fighter ever, AJ would try to circle Deontay and jab, but he's simply not quick enough or good enough to stay outside Deontay's range. Wilder has an inch of reach and an inch of height over him, and he's more athletic. He's also faster and more powerful than Ruiz, so if Joshua couldn't successfully circle and jab as he did with Ruiz in the second fight, Wilder can be dangerous for AJ. So what do you think? How about the match between Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua? Will it happen? Will it not? Or will Wilder just go on and fight other heavyweights? And who will be the winner? What else would you like to know more about? Well, leave your comments below and let us know. And don't forget, like, subscribe, tap that bell icon. You don't want to miss any updates from Boxing Insane. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time.